Hey y'all, what is up everybody? What is up YouTube, YouTube? Sparky Marky Mark and I'm back to do a double unboxing of what did I get in these two, hmm? What is it? What is it? And I know I should have done a video a couple of weeks ago or two. Yeah, and call it live doing other things. What life? Hmm. <clears throat> oh no, let's see. And it's April now. Wow. Oop de doos. And these two are from CSR. Anyways, let's cut to the chit chat and see what I got. Rad. Let's open them. Alrighty. Let's see what the one that's been open. Here is a Johnny Hawk autograph from Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. Now, if anybody remembers this movie, um, this was the uh, nightmare sequence where the young Tommy Jarvis, played by Corey Feldman, um, is in the rain and he's visiting the gravesite. And the next thing you know, these two yahoos open the grave and the next thing you know, uh, they dig him up, uh-oh, and the next thing you know, they see him, and he's quite dead with his mask and stuff attached. And then, uh-oh, boom. He wakes up and obliterates the two yahoos. One with the machete to the stomach, the other one corkscrew to the neck. If anybody has seen the film, let me know. And are any of you a fan of Friday 13 or Friday 13 Part 5? Please let me know in the comments down below. Just a little reorganizing in here. So yeah, this was Johnny Hawk in that sequence, by the way, in the film. Mm -hmm. This was the nightmare sequence in the opening of the film. That's the hockey mask he wears. I thought this was Tom Morga, but then I know Johnny John Hawk, who is, of course, friends with Tom Morga, did this sequence. Mm -hmm. And then... Falling on the bat of spikes at the toward the end of the film, that was Johnny. And of course, Tom Morga played the real Jason in a couple of scenes where you see flashbacks and illusions. So he was wearing the original mask throughout the scenes. Johnny played some of it. So yeah, he was Jason number five in that sequence. Mm hmm. So yeah. And the next stop, yo, 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 yo. If anybody's seen the original screen, let me know as well, because I'm about to show you this. Signed by Lee Wydell, or Wydell, if I said his name right, who was a stuntman and an actor. He played Ghostface wearing this original mask design. One in the opening of Scream with Drew Barrymore, where he obliterates her. And then this scene where... um. He um, stabs the principal, play, Principal Henry, played by um, Henry Winkler. And then he will later come back and do Scream 2. And also a little bit, another guy, Dane Farrell, who's a stuntman actor. He wore prosthetics and he wore the ghost face masks in some of the chase sequences of the movie. So you got two gentlemen playing ghost face in the, in that, in the first Scream movie. The sequel had three guys. Lee Whitell, Chris Durand, and Alan Robinson. But yeah, there's the autograph for Alan Robinson, and you can see it on, on Instagram to those who have it. He is interviewed a little bit, talking about that he played Ghostface with the majority of Scream 2 in some parts of the film. And yeah, he was in the opening of Scream 2, where he stabbed a couple, played by Jada Pickett Smith, Jada Pickett and Omar Epps in the beginning of the film. And then Lee Whitell played some parts of it, which was the driving sequence, uh, ambushing the FBI guys. And then Chris Durand played Ghostface in some parts of the film, which was, I believe, Sarah Michelle Gallers, Gallers scene. Only in that particular one, so... And I believe in the Stab movie, I believe it was Chris Durand as well, or Lee or Alan. I'm not so sure which is which, but you can hear the interview yourself. 
So yeah, this was the, I believe this was a Cam B mask, or this was the original Fun World mask, because if you, anybody saw the first Scream movie, you see this particular mask in the opening part of the movie, and then it changed in the sequence where the hero, Sidney Prescott, is fighting, uh, running and fighting for her life against Ghostface. And then here is the, the scene where the principal gets stabbed. This is the again Lee Whitell playing Ghostface, and then the stalking scene. You know the stalking scenes that was that was again Lee. And then the house, yep, that was Dane Farrell. So yeah, you got the you got like two got two guys playing that, three guys there, and one dude playing in the third, and then. Dane Farrell came back to do it again, and then now there is like two stunt guys, I believe, or one stunt guy played Ghostface. Huh, it's hard to tell who was who in the film. Hmm. So yeah, here it is, y'all, all side by side together. And these are be JSA, y'all. J to the S-A, and yep, JSA. J to the S-A. And yes, they're all number. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So tell me, guys, what do you guys think of the latest screen movie? Do you dig it? Do you love it? Can't wait for number seven? I know I can. I can't wait what they're going to do next in the seventh installment. And as well as I can't wait for any other something else to come. And as well as Friday the 13th movies, tell me which one's your favorite, which ones did you grew up, which was the first one that you saw as a kid. Let me know in the comments down below. And also, um, I'm in the YouTube community. Um, I'm, I recently post um, of the creator VC for the um, In Search of Darkness trilogy, one, two, and three. So yeah, to those who want to get it, better get it now. It began since spring break on the 28th of March. It'll end on the 11th of April, which is next week. So better get it like now, y'all. Better get it like now. And also, about a week or two ago, I recently posted for Kickstarter doing the Kumite, the last Kumite or something for Kickstarter, which is directed by singer Stan Bush, who did You Got the Touch for the Transformers movies and then like to survive in the 1980 Jean-Claude Van Damme film, Bloodsport, 1988. 1988 to be exact. And again, it's in the YouTube community. So yeah, link the links are in the description box down below. So y'all, this is Sparky Marky Mark signing off. Y'all take care. God bless you. Hear you and see you on the next vid. Enjoy Tuesday, y'all. And I gotta get out of here. Later, y'all.